What is up guys, the iPhone X finally came in for me. I will be doing a quick unboxing, opening this up, and then I'll be showing you guys how to start up or go through the startup wizard, the little activation portion uh, of the beginning of the phone, just when you get the device. Let's say you don't want to activate it on a line or with the line that is uh, currently the SIM card that's currently in the device. I'm just gonna show you guys how to get around it. I'm gonna be trying to use iTunes on this one. I know it's possible to do it with a different SIM card, like a blank SIM card. It'll activate it, but it won't activate to the carrier. It'll just get it past the activation screen. I'm gonna try to use an iTunes to see if that does it. So let's just go ahead, bust this guy open. Nice quick little uh, unboxing. Get all of our beautiful stickers and stickies off. Get all that fun. So set all that off to the side. Get that out of here as well. Just that sound. Beautiful. So there we go, all that is off to the side. And let's just go ahead, I'm gonna pop out this SIM card and I'm gonna uh, try to activate it through iTunes. And the way to remove the SIM card, SIM eject tool, uh, go ahead and find the SIM port over here and slide that open. I'm dropping that SIM card out. And I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. Obviously, I'm gonna get some error telling me that, hey, no SIM cards installed uh, when I get to that point, but up until now, I really don't care. Um, so here we are, there's our a beautiful device, iPhone X or the iPhone 10, glass back, glass front, big um, camera going up and down, as opposed to sideways like the other ones, dual camera. Uh, it's supposed to be bigger and better. It does stick out that much more. It seems like it sticks out even more than the iPhone 7 and 8. 6, 7, and 8. But there's that. Anyway, so here we are. We are on the um, home screen. So it says no SIM card installed. Insert a valid SIM with no pin lock to activate the phone. Okay. Let's go ahead. Start off with English. Uh, go to the US. Set up manually. So here we have, I can do the Wi-Fi version. I've done that one before. Uh, connect to iTunes is the one that I'm gonna actually be trying. So let's go ahead and select connect to iTunes. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Connect without Wi-Fi. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit continue. And it's telling me connect to iTunes. And I have my iTunes up on my laptop. Let me just go ahead and get this focused. And so there we go, um, I connected the device to the iTunes and it says there's no SIM card installed in the iPhone you are attempting to activate. Please disconnect and insert a SIM card in, in the phone. Uh, so let's go ahead and just retry this. Um, choose a Wi-Fi, let's go back. Set up manually, connect to iTunes. Uh, I'm gonna go just connect without Wi-Fi and if it doesn't work, yeah, it just says connect and then with, on that screen it's given me that I need a SIM card. So I just finished trying to use the Straight Talk uh, SIM card to activate and it was trying to activate to a random number that I did not know, that I did not recognize, I did not want to do that. So I'm trying now again with a uh, Verizon card that I believe should be um, unlocked and should be cleared and I'm back in with setting up from the beginning. I uh, just got to go through all these steps again. So it's asking me to activate, I'm going to plug that SIM in to see where I can get to. It may take a few minutes to activate the phone. So SIM is required. I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. As you guys could see, I did put a SIM card in there. It just must not be an active one or one that was deactivated, um, whatever. But I'm just gonna try to see if I can't. So here we are, I tried using the Straight Talk card. I tried using a different Verizon card. It essentially made me want, made me um, activate it either way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through the rest of this process. So as far as Face ID, I'm gonna set that up later in settings. Uh, passcode, create a passcode, passcode options. I'm gonna go ahead, don't use a passcode. Are you sure you don't wanna use a passcode? Don't use. Um, set up as a new iPhone. And then as far as Apple ID goes, I'm gonna set that up later in settings as well. And don't use. And then terms and, con terms and conditions agree. And I'm just gonna go ahead um, and continue that and set up later in settings for Siri. App analytics, I'm not gonna share. And true tone display. Not sure if I quite see it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select continue. I'm here to go home, 
swipe the bottom, all right. Switch between recent apps. It's giving us little tips here. Quickly access controls, continue, and here we go. Welcome to iPhone. We are on the home screen. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and call this to see if it actually activated or if it's not activated. So just go ahead, bear with me, give me one second. So I just tried to do the, uh, just to do a test call and it, it did not, uh, it didn't go off, it didn't ring. The number rang to the old phone. So there was a screen on here when I was going through it. Um, it had asked me, hey, if you have, you know, call contact Verizon to fully activate this phone and they gave me like a little uh, order code or ID code to give to Verizon once I get it activated. And so as of now, this is, uh, this is not active. I got it to the home screen, but it did. There was a part where it did ask me for some personal information that I had entered when I was ordering this device. So just kind of keep that in mind. So you can still uh, activate it, getting it to the home screen without actually fully activating it and getting it hooked up on the line. So there you guys have it onto the home screen. This is my video for um, starting up the starting up the iPhone X, uh, doing the startup wizard, little activation portion, a little tougher than on uh, the older devices, but still able to do it. We were able to get to the home screen. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. If you guys would like to see other iPhone X tutorials, go ahead and check out that playlist in the description below. So if you guys, that's all I got for you guys. If you guys have feedback for me, I welcome hearing it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.